Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am helping a couple by cleaning and organizing their kitchen. Let's call them Sarah and Simon. Sarah has been struggling with a food obsession and Simon is dealing with depression. Sarah reached out for help because she knew something had to change. Their house had almost become a dumping ground. It broke my heart when I entered their house and saw the status of the kitchen. Of course I had seen some photos, but the smell was really really bad. All kinds of food were all over the floor and some of it was open because it had been trampled. Sarah also told me that most of the food had expired and that she wanted me to throw away as much as possible. First, I started up picking everything that was on the floor. It was mostly food, but I also encountered spiders, flies, ants and all kinds of insects. It's quite unfortunate, but I had to throw away almost everything that was on the floor. The food had been on the floor for so long that some of it was composted. I don't know if that's the right word, but I hope you know what I mean. There were so many insects crawling over the floor that this food was not safe to eat anymore. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone that subscribed to my channel in the last few days. Thanks to your support I can help these people and I'm really really grateful for that. And I also want to thank Bonnie from A Beautiful Mess for giving the shout outs to me and my channel. She is a really really sweet woman and I'm so happy that I found online friends such as Bonnie Barbie and Mac, um, I really feel connected to them and to everyone that is supporting this.
Okay. As you see me organizing and sorting out these shelves, I want to tell you a little bit more about Sarah and her living situation. Sarah is a woman in her 40s and when she was about 20 she was married to her first husband, which was an unhappy marriage. Her first husband was abusive, addicted to drugs and alcohol. Together they had a baby, but when the baby was one year old, Sarah fled from this marriage. For 14 years, Sarah raised her daughter by herself, and everything was okay. Then, when her daughter was about 15 years old, she met another man at a birthday party. That man was Simon. They fell in love, they married, and Sarah and her 15-year-old daughter moved in with Simon. 
Unfortunately, all the precautions taken by the government around COVID made the couple struggle with their mental health. Simon got into a depression and Sarah got into a food obsession. If you too are struggling with your mental health, I really want to encourage you to ask for help. Asking for help is not something to be ashamed of or a sign of weakness. It is actually a sign of strength. So please ask for help.
By the way, later that day, Sarah did the dishes by herself and I'm not taking any credit for that. The black stuff you can see on the countertop are not mouse droppings, but coffee beans from the coffee machine. And I want to apologize for blocking the view, because sometimes I forget that I'm cleaning and filming at the same time. All of a sudden my glove got stuck behind I think a screw or something so there's my thumb sticking out
Lastly, I scrubbed the floor with a brush and here you can see how stuck the dirt was on the floor because I couldn't manage to get everything clean with the brush. I had to use a scraper on certain parts of the floor to really get the dirt off. And yeah, this was uh, almost the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching and you will see the before and after in this from this uh, kitchen again. I hope to see you next time. Bye!